Page five now, Obamacare, the disaster and the disasters to come. Exhibit A, a Washington state woman who was highlighted by the president. Last month, Obama told the story of Jessica Sanford. The president told the nation how she purchased health insurance from the exchange and how happy she was. Not anymore. First, her tax credit was reduced, then taken away altogether. So now she cannot afford health insurance in her state. Jessica is just one of tens of millions of Americans who Texas Senator Ted Cruz was trying to protect just last month. But Cruz is not letting up. Millions across this country are losing their health care, are losing their doctors because of Obamacare. In Texas this past week, the Austin American statesman reported that Austin's largest provider of cancer treatment won't participate in the health insurance plans offered through the marketplace set up by the Affordable Care Act. And indeed, they, they went on to quote, Obamacare looked like sunshine on the horizon, and now it's a tornado, said one Austinite who's a breast cancer, who has breast cancer and is being treated at Texas Oncology. In an upcoming issue, Texas Medicine, a publication from the Texas Medical Association, references a survey by the Medical Group Management Association that says uncertainty has 40% of physician practices across the country pondering their participation in marketplace-based insurance plans. Cruz is right on, but there is more to come from Obamacare. The employer mandate kicks in next year, and there's more trouble ahead. Joining me now, Tea Party Express co-founder Howard Kalugian. Howard, I wonder how many Americans are looking back. It was just, you know, about 45, 50 days ago where Ted Cruz stood up there and did his uh, quasi-filibuster trying to bring the attention to the, the problems with Obamacare. And he was ridiculed, not only in the media, of course, but by Democrats and some in his own party. I wonder how many Americans are realizing, hey, this guy was correct. He was trying to protect me. I think a, a lot of people are beginning to realize that. Uh, hopefully some in the establishment of the Republican Party who called them wacko birds. And of course, people on the left who accuse Ted Cruz of being a terrorist. And uh, of course, everybody who opposes Obama is a racist. And all of those accusations are falling by the wayside now as people see the substance of the argument. That as they start to think about it and as they start to experience it, Every prediction Ted Cruz has made has come true. And in fact, that's been the case since the beginning. You know, a lot of these congressmen and senators on the left who voted for it didn't read the bill. In fact, I'll go further. I don't think any of them read the bill. The problem is that's not an excuse. We didn't read the bill either. We didn't even see the bill. But we knew all of these disasters were going to unfold. We knew that because we understand the free market. We understand how insurance works. We understand how the marketplace works. We understand the way the world really works. And the left doesn't. They think that they can command it, they can dictate it, and it'll happen. Well, the market has a funny way of, of surprising command uh, dictators, as uh, the Soviet Union found out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Interesting analogy. Now, uh, when you talk about substance, uh, there are many other shoes to drop with Obamacare. And we know this because uh, we're finding out bit by bit about the bill. And then also, by the way, the tens of thousands of pages of regulations being written by Health and Human Services right now. <laughs> but among them are things like uh, folks are, are getting the shock of their lives when they go on to the healthcare.gov site and, and they look at, for example, just things like deductibles, that their deductible you know, was around $500. Now it's, you can add a zero to that in many cases. You're absolutely right. The deductible is going higher. The copay is going higher. The premium is going higher. The only thing that's not improving or getting larger is the coverage because doctors are leaving. And so it's going to get even uh, less coverage. There'll be fewer doctors to see. There'll be longer waits. And you've got to pay more for it. you got to pay more in premium every month, and then you have to pay more every time you go to the doctor. And this is just the beginning of it. You know, right now we've seen millions of people canceled from their old insurance that they liked, that they thought was good, that they wanted to keep. But that's only the independent market. That's a relatively small market. Once the employer mandate kicks in next year, we're going to see these same problems apply to people who get their insurance from where they work. And so it's going to be multiplied by the millions going out from only 5 to 10 million people, maybe 15 million people losing their insurance now to maybe 90 or 100 million people losing their insurance next year because Obama said 
That's substandard insurance. Well, it was insurance we liked. It right. was insurance we could afford. It was insurance that worked. But no, he had to go and mess up a very good system. Yeah, and that's not to mention, uh, regarding the employer mandate, all the jobs that are still being converted from full-time to part-time, so they meet this uh, threshold, this 50-employee threshold of Obamacare. This is so anti-free markets, it just stinks. The lackluster re recovery that we've experienced is in part because of Ob Obamacare, and it's going to continue and get exasperated, and we're going to have a sluggish economy moving forward until we repeal Obamacare because nobody wants to fall under those mandates if they can help it. So they're going to stay below 50 employees. They're not going to hire people. And the people they do hire are going to be less than 30 hours a week. And so nobody can live with that. And there are all kinds of other problems. Just as you found out uh, with your example of uh, Jessica Sanford, who lost her, de her, her tax credit, right. uh, the subsidy from the government, Everybody might lose the subsidy from the government because there's a lawsuit right now. The law itself says only uh, people who purchase insurance through state exchanges qualify for federal subsidy. But what the way the, the rollout is occurring, everybody who's getting it from the federal website is also getting federal subsidies, and that's not the way the law reads. And so the lawsuit says that that shouldn't be allowed because that's against the law. Right. And so I think a lot of people are going to be in uh, Jessica Sanford's position where they're going to lose the subsidy that Obama has promised. And, and the subsidy is nothing more than redistribution of wealth. Correct. And, and herein lies another pitfall of Obamacare, the young people. If they're not signing up, uh, there's big trouble for that redistribution of wealth because they need that young people's money to give it to sicker and older people in, in their health insurance plans, those subsidies, if you will. You're, you're absolutely right. First of all, the subsidies are taxpayers giving money to people who otherwise uh, wouldn't, wouldn't qualify for it. And so it's another form of welfare or redistribution. And it goes up to 400% of poverty level. So, right. you know, people making uh, 70 and $80,000 could qualify if you're a family of four. And, and that's, not, that's not poor. Those are people who could have and used to be able to afford insurance. But then uh, on top of that, of course, uh, everybody else is going to suffer because you need younger, healthier people to buy insurance that we know that they're not going to need and that they're not going to use and they're not going to access in order to take their money to pay for the insurance that the older, sicker people are going to be using. So it's a complete transfer of wealth from younger, healthy people to older, sicker people. And once the youth who voted for Obama figure that out, I think that they may realize that they made a mistake. There's only one way out, and that's to repeal this thing. When you, you build, fix it. That's right. When you build an Edsel, the key isn't to change the color you paint the car. Stop making the Edsel. Well put. Howard, thanks. Coming up next, Navy SEALs speak out about the Obama administration as the Daily Ledger continues.